What we're going to be going over here is the rate of return here on common stock equity and really that's the profitability from the common stock shareholders viewpoint here. So we're going to have these current year financials and we'll just have them in millions of dollars here for Corporation A and we're all we're going to be looking at their liabilities and their shareholders equity. So they're, for long term debt they're going to have at a 10% interest rate they're going to have 2.4 million in long term debt and in the common stock par value well it's at a $5 per share par but they're going to have 1 million sitting here in that uh, common stock par uh, value here. And then additional paid in capital here for common stock, they're going to have 8 million. And then for preferred stock, it's going to be a $50 per share par value, but it's going to pay an 8% dividend rate here. And they're going to have $1 million here in preferred stock. And then retained earnings here, uh, they're going to have 1,400,000. Okay, so now let's look at uh, we're going to be what we're going to be going down here, and we're going to be calculating the net income here uh, for this uh, this company corporation a here and we're also going to be looking at the income that's available to the common stock shareholders here so let's start out here and and we'll have the income before interest and taxes here at three million two hundred thousand and then the interest expense well we had that 2.4 million here in long-term debt times 10 percent so we're going to have two hundred and forty thousand here in interest expense subtract that here from the income before interest and taxes we're going to come up with here income after the interest expense of two million nine hundred sixty thousand. So now let's just say our income taxes here at forty percent, one million one hundred eighty-four thousand here, and then subtracting that him from our income after interest expense here, we're going to come up with net income at one million seven hundred and seventy-six thousand dollars. Okay, so this is the key here when we're working with this uh, rate of return here in common stock equity. What we have to do is we we take our net income here and we have to subtract out in this case the preferred stock dividends. Well we had 20,000 shares, $50 par, 8% dividend rate so that's going to be $80,000. Subtracting that here from our net income, 1,776,000, we come up with our income that's available to our common stock shareholders at $1,696,000. So this is the, what we have to get down to, the income that's available to the common stock shareholders. So this is what we're going to be using here in our general equation here for this rate of return here on our common stock equity. So we take our net income here and we have to subtract out the preferred stock dividends that's sitting in our numerator here and then we divide it by the common stock equity here minus the preferred stock par value here. So that's our general equation here. So uh, looking at um, how we, looking at our numbers here. So we go back to our net income here at 1,776,000 here. That's after our taxes are taken out here and our interest expense. Now we subtract out the preferred stock dividend. That we have to subtract out 80,000 here. So that we're subtracting out here of 80,000 here. That's in our numerator. Now in our denominator, well, we have the $10,400,000 here. That's our common stock equity. Well, how do we get that here? So let's just go down and look at it. So we have, um, that's really the $1 million par value here in our common stock, plus the $8 million additional paid in capital here to our common stock, plus that $1,400,000 sitting in retained earnings. So that equals $10,400,000. Just remember the par, par value here of our common stock plus the additional paid in capital on our common stock plus the retained earnings. So that's what our common stock equity here is in our example that we're going over. Now this is where we have to subtract out the pref, um, preferred stock par value. So there we had $1 million sitting in our preferred stock par value. So we would subtract that here from the um, common stock equity that we calculated. So what you can see here, uh, when we're dealing with this rate of return on our common stock equity, we take our net income here, divide it by the common stock equity, but we have to be subtracting out our preferred stock dividend here in the numerator here from our net income. And then uh, from our common stock equity, we have to subtract out the preferred stock 
par value here. So there's where we come up at our rate of return here in common stock equity, 18.04%. And just looking at that again, if we went over our numbers, we would have had 1,696,000 here for our, our net income that's available uh, to the shareholders going up back up here you see that that's the amount of income that's available to the common stock shareholders here one million six hundred ninety six thousand and then we divide that by our common stock equity that we calculated here at ten million four a hundred thousand here less the preferred stock par value of one million dollars so we came up with here nine million four hundred thousand divide that into our net income here or that's available at common stock shareholders and we come up with that rate of return here on our common stock equity so what we've done here is we we're really looking at it as we talked about our, uh, here where we have this rate of return here in our common stock equity is really the profitability here from the common stock shareholders viewpoint here of the company so we just went over this basic example here so just remember this is our general equation here you take your your net income here and that's after interest and taxes remember we went up here we had to subtract out here our interest and taxes and then we from our net income we had to subtract here the preferred stock dividend here and we were given that we were given our total shares outstanding par value and a dividend percentage here and we come up with our preferred stock dividend here and then we divide it by the common stock equity here and remember that was the par value of our common stock plus the additional paid in capital of common stock plus the retained earnings here that the company has for it. And come up with our common stock equity and then we had to subtract out the preferred stock par value here okay so we've done that we come up with our rate of return here on common stock equity okay so that's the basic calculations here and how we can uh, determine here uh, our percentage here and we just remember subtracting out your preferred stock dividends for both here the dividend here and the par value dividend and a numerator from the net income the par value from the denominator here or our common stock equity all right, so that takes care of our rate of return here on common stock equity.